Hi Elders Gate, it's Miss Jen and I'm here for Sunday School. Today's story is called Peter in Prison and it's from Acts. But before we get too far into Sunday School, I wanted to take a minute because today is a really special Sunday. It's Mother's Day. So today we take a moment, a whole day really, and get to celebrate our moms and all of the wonderful things that they do for us, that they help us with, that they teach us, and all of the love that they give us. So I hope that you guys take today and really special day and honor your mom and have some celebrations with her. So now let's get back to Sunday school. So Peter in prison, we kind of got a, a hint of this from last week's story, but let's go right now to the story and read out of the Bible. Peter in prison, Acts 12, 1 through 17. King Herod was a mean king who never did a good thing. He made life very hard for all of Jesus' friends. King Herod put Peter in jail for telling people about Jesus. King Herod ordered his soldiers to guard Peter so Peter would not escape. While Peter was in jail, the other Christians prayed for him. One night, Peter was sleeping in the jail. There were two chains holding Peter's arms down. Suddenly, an angel appeared. The angel poked Peter in the side and said, Quick! Get up. The chains fell off Peter's hands. The angel said, get dressed quickly and put on your sandals. Peter did what the angels told him to do. When Peter was finished dressing, the angel said, follow me. Peter followed the angel past the soldiers and out to the city gate. All of a sudden, the heavy gate opened by itself. Peter and the angel were walking along the street when the angel disappeared. Peter went to his friend's merry house. Peter knocked on the door. A servant girl named Rhoda came to the door and said, Who is it? Peter said, It is Peter. Rhoda became so excited, she ran back and told everyone that Peter was at the door. The people in the house did not believe Rhoda. They said, You must be wrong. We have been praying for Peter. Peter kept on knocking, and finally someone opened the door for him. Everyone was amazed to see Peter. Peter told everyone to keep quiet. Peter told his friends how God's angel had helped him escape. Then Peter said, tell James what has happened. Peter turned around, left, and went to another town to up to tell others about Jesus. Everyone was surprised to see Peter. Have you ever been surprised? How do you think that the people from the church who were praying for Peter felt when Peter showed up and surprised them? I bet that they were excited and they felt like their prayers had been answered. And can you imagine what it felt like to be Peter and woken up by an angel? Let's go see what our deep blue kids are doing today. waiting on my dad. He's going to take us to the welcome back party. I hope we get ice cream. Ooh, yeah. Who is the welcome back party for? Birds. Birds? That's right. So, no ice cream? Are your kids ready to come on in? Yeah. yeah. Are we really having a party to welcome back birds? We sure are. Every spring, we have birds that come back here to nest. So, we're going to throw them a welcome back party. It gives people a chance to take pictures of the birds and learn more about them. I've been praying that the birds would come back safely. In the Bible, there were people waiting and praying for Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. King Herod hated anyone who followed Jesus. So he arrested Peter. King Herod threw Peter in prison and even put 16 soldiers in charge of guarding him. While Peter was in prison, people in the church prayed for him. Then, when Peter was asleep one night, an angel appeared. The angel woke Peter up and the entire cell became very bright. The angel told Peter to get up and grab his things and follow him. Then the chains fell off of Peter. 
He didn't think this was real. He thought he was having a vision, but he did as he was told. Peter and the angel passed the guards and left the prison. Once they made it out of the prison, the angel disappeared. That's when Peter realized that he was not having a vision. Everything was real. Peter went to Mary's house where many Christians were praying. When Peter knocked on the gate, a woman named Rhoda answered. When she saw Peter, she became very excited and ran back to tell everyone he was there. The only thing was, she was so excited she forgot to let Peter inside. When she told the other believers, they thought she was just seeing things. Peter remained at the gate, still knocking, and the people came out. When they saw it really was Peter, they were excited. Peter didn't want them to make a big scene. He told them about how the angel led him out of prison. Wow, what a great story. The Christians were praying for Peter, and you guys have been praying for the safe return of the birds. When are the birds supposed to get here? At any time. That's why we have to look up and watch for them. I don't see any birds yet. We just have to be patient. Wait, what's that? I think I see them. There they are! I see them too. This is great. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Who wants to celebrate with some ice cream? Yeah! yeah. I hope we get ice cream. How do you feel when someone comes back? Okay, it's time for our blessing and our prayer. So today, um, I'll say the blessing and I want you guys to repeat it after me. We'll say it all together. And then I hope that you'll share this blessing with your family as well, especially your mom, since it's her special day. God loves you. God remembers you. And God will always be with you. Say that with me. God loves you, God remembers you, and God will always be with you. Will you please join me in an attitude of prayer? Take a deep breath in, exhale, okay. Dear God, show us how to serve you every day. Thank you for answering the church's prayer and helping Peter escape from prison. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, that's it for Sunday school today. I hope you guys get to enjoy the outside today. It looks like it's going to be sunny. And I hope that you have a wonderful week and you stay safe. I miss you all and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.